Hi everyone, welcome to the video and today what we're going to do is we can explore the Microsoft Bing Image Creator powered by Dell E. So this is the web page of Microsoft Bing Image Creator and we're going to see how many, you know, different kinds of things we can do with this particular software. I think Microsoft has done an amazing job and you can see these samples and I must say the quality and the beauty of these images is great. And everything you're getting is just free of cost, right? And let's see what are the options that, that Microsoft give us, what, what else we can do and how we can explore this specifically uh, for the scientific images, especially in the area of biosciences. Let's see how much, how much it can do in the area of uh, biology, biosciences, what kind of image it can generate. I have used so many AI tools to just see what kind of image they give. My experience is not been quite great because many of those tools, they require a lot of time in processing and creating the image. And as well as the, the quality, the final quality of the image is not that convincing. And if you have some tools like this, you create something from these tools and then modify it accordingly. And you can use those in your scientific illustrations. There is some information that is given. You can say what is image creator. So if you want to know, this is the product to help uh, users generate AI images with Dell E. So you just have to give, in, give the text prompt and the AI will generate a set of images, not just single image. That is great. Right, so text to image generation is the function. Next, how do I use image creator? Sign up for a new Microsoft account or log into your existing existing Microsoft account. That's another uh, thing you need to do. You need to have the Microsoft uh, account. New users are granted 25 boosted generations for image creator. So as you can see, they are giving you some boost. What you what you what they call it? I think boosting points or something so that the image generation is quite fast right how do i use uh, how do i use image creator so that's what we have uh, we have seen and then generated images then you can use is there a waiting list to use image creator there is no waiting list it's just up front you can directly use it it is uh, accessible to all anyone can turn their images uh, ideas into images great what languages they are supported you have English English language that can be supported in future they will have another images or another languages to create uh, different images next how do I create better prompts so this is important this is something I've struggled with uh, you have these AI, amazing AI tools but what kind of prompts you need to give them so here are some options you have you can be creative try something uh, like uh, fuzzy creating wearing sunglasses digital art or something right so you can also see some of the options are given we are not going to try those but just i'll give you some of the prompt that i'm i'm thinking how do microsoft rewards uh, work with image creator so this is another thing if you run out of the boost you you have the option to use microsoft rewards to redeem for additional boosts and enjoy faster processing time so it is being linked with the other tools and you can get the points reward points for the microsoft and there are other options available and then you can uh, you can basically use those points to boost the processing time when you run out the boost in the image creator you will be reminded that you have the option to redeem microsoft reward points for more boosts interesting you know this is some some strategy they are using so that you use uh, as many as microsoft tools that are available what if i have another question about the image creator so you know if if you have another question they have the help page where you can visit so all right without any delay let's explore this and see uh, what we can get out of it okay so uh, as you can see there is something written already want to see how image creator works select surprise me for suggested prompt and then um, maybe there is this option available right if we click on this surprise me let's see how many boost point i'm gonna get uh, nothing nothing happened oh maybe i have to first give the uh, oh okay so i also got this this uh, default option a brown rat dressed as a jungle explorer digital art i don't know if i can use that 
I don't want to use the boost point to create something like this. Maybe let's let's do uh, something which is uh, bioscience related DNA, right? DNA structure. So DNA structure and cell. Correct. Let's hit on create. So now I can see it's creating. Let's see how much time it takes. So it's still dot 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 creating is going on. All right, my one boost point is gone. So this is how it's gonna use the boost points and wow, okay. Interesting. Now you can see you have the image of the DNA, which is I think a uh, decent looking DNA and specifically in all these images. And they are really, really good quality images. You can see this is this is really great. It can be a nice cover page for any any good journal, right? I don't know now, maybe AI generated images are going to be used in the journal, but journals on the cover page, but I, I don't think that's a good idea because, uh, you know, scientists, they, they do a lot of work, they put a lot of effort, but it can be used as a background for those um, scientific illustrations. So it can be like combination of both these things. Now, download option is there. I can download this. I just want to see the quality. So you can see the quality is really good. It's a JPEG image. Uh, you have 2024, 2024 uh, resolution is there, which is good. Let's explore something else. I have, okay, one boost point was gone to create these four images. So I don't know whether it is going to create four images uh, at one shot. Let's try something else. Bacteria, bacterial biofilms. You know, that is something very, really close to my heart. Create. So if I'm creating, I don't know, I'll try that also when, when I'm, I'm going to type the, the prompt and then hit on the surprise me. Let's see what happens. Okay. There are some other options. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can see down there how, how, the, uh, how much time it is going to take. Now, it was very quick. Okay. It seems like it is uh, the images, you know, another feedback that I can give is basically hmm, interesting. So what I can see is a lot of bacterial cells and then smaller, smaller things are also there. And that is the biofilm and probably this seems like the aggregates of the bacteria, not a typical biofilm. And what is happening? I get this is again high resolution image of bacteria. So I think what is happening? It's taking the information that is already available, and then trying to generate some mix up of the of the information that is available. But it's significantly matching to the already known information. Let's see if. We just type bacteria and what we get in this case. So create, if I, if I hit on create, oh, you can see I'm using my boost points and very, very quickly. But anyways, it's worth it, right? So now you can see it's um, again taking some time. Last time what happened is it was, it was just stuck somewhere in the middle. That is what it happened. Okay, amazing. Look at that. Interestingly, okay. So one thing is they are pretty similar to the images that are already there in the in the somewhere in the uh, in the website that I've seen. Uh, I think it's the CDC website. Let's see. Let's visit that website. CDC uh, bacteria images because I've seen some some kind of the same images whether they are very very close to it. I'm not sure we can we can see to it, but you can see this image, right? And then if I go back to this and I can see significant similarity, but the color could be different. Uh, but the significant similarities in this, obviously they are not entirely similar, but as you can see, they're quite similar. Interesting. So maybe the information, okay, this one, this one is quite, you know, the, uh, everything else is, you know, shading effect and other effects, they are different. But look at that. Right, I think 
Mm, image creator has done a, a fantastic job in this case. Good. So I have already used some of my points. I want to do additional search on some of the other things that I work on, bacteriophages. And you can explore the channel and you'll see a lot of videos on, on various, various topics of the biosciences. So that is why I'm just using bacteriophages. I want, I'm, I'm really interested and I, I don't know, I can keep giving these prompts and keep watching what results is going to come. That is definitely not a bacteriophage. Interesting. That is not, you know, uh, I have done a lot of research on the bacteriophages, but certainly not. Interestingly, you know, it seems like this is a, a mixture of the some kind of an animal, and then they are trying to merge the actual bacteriophage structure in it. Anyways, okay, okay, this seems like interestingly very very weird structure. Anyway, so it can go up to this. That means, okay, this is good as far as the scientific images are concerned. Uh, let's go and find out um, plant cell. I'm just trying to find out all those structures that I know and I want to see whether uh, it, is, it, is, it is making similar images that are already available on the internet because I have explored uh, the web for these images. So that I can get a good idea that what kind of images it's gonna it's gonna generate and okay, okay, this is very very simple version of the plant cell. It's, it seems like just the empty spaces, but anyways, you know, if you have these kind of images, definitely you can use them for posters. You can use them in your slides. They will look nicer. Uh, it, it depends on uh, what kind of what kind of. Um, slide design you have your uh, for your powerpoint so this is good and if that is merged into the powerpoint and directly you can create image over there that would be fantastic and i think these kind of things they are going to come very very soon and you can integrate these ai based tools into the other microsoft tools like powerpoint and word documents so you can see if you have something that is mixture of the AI and the human intelligence, that would be nice. So that was all. I hope you liked the video. And if you want to use this particular tool, I'll just give you the link in the description box and click it out and just enjoy. All right. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care, everyone.